unfortunately, moments ago from Shams Tarania. Joel Embiid having suffered a right orbital fracture and a mild concussion in game six last night in Toronto. He'll now be listed as out and there's no timetable for his return. Uh, this, of course, starting with concussion protocol. He could eventually clear that concussion protocol and ultimately wear a mask. But let's start with what this means for his team if he's not part of that lineup. Well, games one and two become really important if he can't play. If Miami can take advantage of his absence, you know, it may be up too big of a hole for Philly to really climb out of. Now, we talked about James Harden going back to Houston. Well, he's going to have to do that if, if yeah. Embiid is not out there. So it puts a lot of pressure on him to go out there and really be aggressive and go back to that you know, stratosphere of him being MVP if NBA can't play games one and two. Once he has, though, cleared protocol, may or may not have to wear a mask. He's done it before, played well with one. You did it before as well. What was that like? Yeah, it, you know, the thing about it is once you wear it and you have to wear it again, you kind of accustomed to it. I had to wear it because I broke my nose, got elbowed in the face, and I broke my nose. The first couple of games, it was, the peripheral was all messed up. And plus, you know, the technology has changed from when I had it, you know, right. to now. And B has done it before. You know, you see him take it off when he shoots his free throws. And I think it's going to limit his three-pointers because the depth perception is a little different when you shoot with that mask from long range. So, but I think, you know, who can stop him in the paint anyway? He just got to right. adjust his game. Just, you know what, I get 40 in the paint. But could be an advantage that he's already played with one before. You're saying there is time to adjust yes and he's done I, it yeah he's done it before and I think he'll be fine with it. you know and B is, is, is the type of guy that he's going to come out there and compete and he knows how to adjust his game think about it you can have a big that can't move his feet he take him on the outside there's yeah. a, kid who, a big is too small he take him on the inside so he's a great guy at adjusting his game and a master at using his IQ on the court and again that game is Monday